where the mouth sounds really necessary at the end there. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex and the Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy ah! content. <gasps> Thanks to our patron, follow us on Twitter account, subscribe if you haven't like button. Thank you for support us on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter account, subscribe if you haven't. I did I just say those words? You did. You got confused and distracted because before we started recording, I whacked SRK. Yeah, you did. Whacked off SRK right behind him. Whack. <sighs> hate when that hey, happens. Buddy. Today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> kind of. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you'll I'll, explain. I'll, I'll explain. I'll explain. Don't worry. Uh, we're uh, reviewing the new film that just came out, uh, a Hindi film, An Action Hero, uh, starring Ayushman and our Dost Jaideep. Uh, it's directed by... Anarud Ayer, who directed, I thought he directed something we'd seen. Anyways, and no, this is actually, if I'm not mistaken, this is Anarud's debut as a director, as a, helming a film. Yeah, what did he do with his other stuff? Has done uh, like assistant AD, like assistant director, not assistant AD, AD. Um, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, but he also wrote it as well. Yes. Uh, along with uh, somebody else. Uh, sorry, I'm not on the right page here. Um, and composed by, say that one. There's two names for that credit. Farid Kot is the one name, and uh, Rajesh, uh, Rajarshi Sanyal. Okay, and so normally with new films, we do um, a non-spoiler review because uh, we want to make sure people can go see it without being spoiled. Right. And then we warn you and before we get into before the we get into the spoilers. Unlike most critics who still feel the need to just tell you the whole story themselves. Yes. Um, the reason I'm saying this is because I don't know if we can non-spoiler review this. Um, we were t we were talking about this in the car. We don't normally talk uh, in the car because we want to keep our, our no, thoughts fresh. We're pretty silent in the car usually. Yeah, because we want to keep our thoughts fresh. Dialogue for here, uh, so you guys can see it. Um, and I can't really tell you why, because if I tell you why, because I, I, my thoughts aren't even completely hashed out about this right, movie. Right. I can't tell if I didn't like it or if I think it was brilliant. Well, see, I, it, it was, I, I, I'm okay on that regard, yeah. but there's just the, the main thing Corbin brought up in the car was how do we do this as a non-spoiler? Because... Um, here's what I can say in the non-spoil section. Um, and you'll, for those of you who've seen it, when we begin to spoil it, you'll understand, and you probably under already understand yeah. why we can't. But if you're one of the people wanting original storytelling in Hindi cinema, yeah, go see it. Yeah, go support it. Very, especially it's very original. Especially if you speak Hindi. Yep. Uh, because I think uh, along with certain things about it in terms of references, uh, um, one of the reasons I think that uh, <laughs> I don't know if we're fully qualified to even review right. this film. Right. Um, there's, I think, uh, somebody, because I've heard this from many people, people I trust as well, but somebody just, because I posted about it that we were going to see it on, on Twitter. Yeah. And he said, subtitles do not do it justice to Jaideep's comedic timing. I'm sure. Uh, and straight face humor. I don't remember the last time I laughed so hard throughout an entire film. It's just freaking hilarious. And that's not the first time I've heard that. Of course. I laughed some. I would not even consider this a comedy. So that but that's because that, it's lost on us, and also the either the subtitles, and so that's 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 something I'm trying to get across is that not only are there references that I don't know if we're qualified, and also subtitles, but there's also so much going on in this, yeah. that I don't even fully understand what I saw, and we and, and I, I want to hash it out, and we'll talk about it in the exactly, and we we can tell you that so it is we can tell you it's very very original, yes, um, it's. Very intelligent. Yeah. Um, and it probably is yes. hysterically funny. Yes. If you're a native Hindi speaking person and you particularly understand the Indian culture of media, movies, politics, and things like that. Yes. Anything more we say 
Yeah, will give stuff away that the story needs to tell you. Yes, so so uh, I would just if you haven't seen it, go watch. Go it, see it, and then you can come back and talk to us, or go see somebody who's maybe a Hindi speaker and they have a non-spoiler review. Right, that you can watch. I think they'll probably a little more qualified. Right, this is going to be more. I think of a discussion about. The, the film than an actual full on uh, like our normal style of breaking down everything because I think the most interesting part to me is the entire concept of the exactly. film. Exactly. It's the concept of the um, film I want to talk about yeah. the most. So, like I said, our non is just go watch it and come back, form your opinion, and then come see uh, 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 us talk about the film in our, yeah. our spoilers. So this is a little different than our normal stuff. I'm sorry, but if you've seen it, you might understand why. So, not we're in spoilers. Spoiler so go time. Go away. Go away if you have not seen the movie. <laughs> go you, see the I, movie. I don't want to spoil yeah. stuff for you, and I can't even tell you why. Okay. So we said this in the car. Yes. The very first sentence we would have for the film is that it's a movie that is representative. Oh, so many things. Not to be taken as a real action movie. Yes. What's funny? is to see how many people will see the film and leave, and their takeaway will be, I really liked Ayushman Karana in that action film. <laughs> that was actually like an hour in, I was like, what the fuck is this? Exactly. Like, none of this is believable. What the fuck is going on? What's going on? Why? Where's the, where's the other? We're in the spoilers. Yeah. I, I want to say that you again. You should have already seen so it. I just want to repeat that. Because, like, I was like, I, how the fuck can he do all this shit? Exactly. Right? How the, and why? It's illogical. How can he jump across buildings? Right. And then, subsequently, in the second half, can't break through a window. Right. Why is Jaideep not shooting him in the goddamn face, face after every he time just he gets shot to him. two police officers right, right. in broad daylight? It's because so, so I was like, everybody's representative. Yeah, so, it's all representative in and that symbolic. Part, I was like, oh my god, why is everybody saying this film's amazing? Right? Like, why? I don't get it. And then, like, obviously, as the film goes on, you you kind of more understand. Even though I was already aware, I was like, something is going on. Is this entire thing a movie? Like, is this like, is this going to be like a meta and like he's going to be in a trance and he comes out and it's right? It was a big movie, right? And, like. All it this all kind of really st- didn't take place. Yes, right. And I don't even know if anybody can actually answer it because it, in the second half, when we he was being interrogated, and they basically were the audience, right? And they said that's that, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Right. It's not believable in the, slightest. in the slightest. What are you talking about? Right. Like, why should I believe you? Right. And then obviously he comes in with you know if you put a yeah maybe I did it maybe I didn't do it. I'm a I'm an actor. Yeah. So what what do you care? What do they care? Obviously this had a shit ton to say about the media. Oh big. T- <laughs> it had a lot to say about the media, about clickbait, about uh relativity a- a becoming truth and everybody's just saying something because they want to say it to gain eyeballs about the power that a movie star has to cover up stuff whereas the commoner doesn't where one day they're being vilified, the next Day, they're being deified yeah it's smart yeah it's so there's a whole and like i said there's a whole bunch in this that even <coughs> us four years into this that are more than Lost. probably most americans you know do not get all the re- i get a right. lot of the references I, there's a bunch of stuff i get i'm not saying that but there's so much like i know certain things about the media like the the, the thing that they were playing off of in the media i like i know the the big meme of uh, the nation wants to know right. that guy i know i know of him and i know wa- hashtag yeah. said hashtag boycott. boycott yeah i know of those things but i don't watch the me- that media regularly and we know there were very specific references wink wink nudge nudge yeah. to very specific, specific celebrities. celebrities and things yes and certain things that happen I know all that, but there's probably a billion other things in this film yeah. that completely went over my head that probably made this film even better for some people, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and so that's why I'm like, I feel like, like I don't fully understand a lot of the things that happen, and I just like need to kind of talk it out. Like, was right. Jaideep actually just a reference of the audience? Like, <laughs> or the common man? Why, and I, why think, was he chasing? Why didn't he ever kill him? I and I, I well, yeah, yeah. What, what do you think? Like, I, I, I don't, I don't know. Because we don't know what actually happened. But I think it's because 
the primary goal in the writing wasn't to have a thoroughly believable through line and yeah. plot yeah. as much as it was to show the representative characters who could kind of morph in and out sometimes of who they were representing, but as they represented what they represented, it it also kind of tongue in cheek for itself showed you how the way the media and celebrity can change their narrative, mm -hmm. it did it itself yeah. on its own yeah. and made you have to forgive it for it. Yep. The way that happens in media. The media. Yeah. And if, uh, if you see it started, I thought the cops in the beginning were very funny. That was probably some of the funniest parts. Uh, like when they were first introduced, he was like, and a dead body on the side of the road. Yeah, that, that <laughs> moment was funny when he said, oh, I love the cool breeze. I love feeling this way. And the dead body on the side of the road. <laughs> what? Thought, yeah, that was funny. we laughed and then, really loud uh, at that. Like they made them get, so obviously this had stuff to say about the police as well of the journalist informing the police yes. about what about they the, what what's going on. Not right. them figuring out and telling the it's it was like the opposite direction so obviously this this film has a lot to say about the goings on in Bollywood the media the police the audience in general and how they treat stars you, you know and what, it what they believe you in. know what it reminds me of i think this is the best way i could give somebody an analogy of it so you've probably seen these on tiktok on twitter on youtube they're the 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 reporters yeah. who go to trump rallies yeah and ask the questions and the people there say things that are definitively contradictory, but they don't see it. And the reporters agreeing with them, nodding their head. And all the time, you know that they're with us, the audience going, oh, my goodness. That's what this film is yeah. to the entertainment and celebrity and politics in India, specifically in India. In the yes. same, like I wrote down some films that we have in American cinema that uh, that fall far more into the dramatic realm. I don't yeah. know of a film that's like this, but say like American Psycho. Did you see American Psycho with Christian Bale? No, that's actually one I've never seen. One okay, of the big classics I've never or seen. Or obviously Fight Club. Yeah, uh, American Psycho is a take I know it's very on meta. corporate America. Yeah. It's representative. It's not supposed to be a real story. A little, yeah. It's, a, it's supposed to be representative of the cutthroat capitalism of American society at the time mm -hmm. it was made. But it's far more straightforward and linear in its representativeness than, than this is. Well, this was also, <coughs> since India and it, its action films are incredibly unique. Yes. Especially like with the introduction of the big South Mass films. Right. That it's also playing off of with the hero worshipping. So that India and their action films are very specific. Yes. There's That's why the West is going crazy for RRR. They've never seen anything like that. Right. Ever. Um, and so that it's a very unique circumstance. Which, which was funny because I felt, as it pertains to the action sequences... I thought they were kind of underwhelming. Yeah, I think that may and, have been on purpose. And a I think bit. it was on purpose because one of the underwhelming points, and I think this was on purpose, every slap, punch, kick, and elbow used the exact same sound <laughs> at the exact same sound level, except for the opening scene where he's filming it and there's no sound. Yeah. And it was so funny to watch because yeah. you're not getting the sound. And I thought at one point, that's got to be intentional. And we're not really seeing any mind-boggling usual stuff, which I think was another kind of like... The other thing, did you notice that this was a predominantly male film? Like, the That's only the female character is one of the news people and the item girls yeah. in the song numbers. Yeah, there's very there's, few. There's no heroine, there's yeah. no mother, there's no daughter, there's no sister, there's no love interest, there's no women. And there's no female cop chasing him. There's no women. I think there was one female British police officer. For a split hot For a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is another thing of, okay, you want patriarchy? Here you go, here's all the guys. Here's all the guys and all the men, all the roles. I think that's another thing with the Indian action films, though. They're very masculine. Very, very male-heavy yeah. and, and male-focused. Yeah. Um, Which was another reason why in the item number, it was like, welcome to Bosom City. Yeah. Right? Uh, and that, that sequence was so interesting because I was already confused the <laughs> yeah, fuck we out. Were, we were going, what the hell is going on? Because I, we knew this wasn't reality. No, yeah, yeah. We knew that. Like I was like, I know the proverbial shoe is going to drop at some point and we're going to figure out 
what the fuck is what the fuck is happening to me right now, right? <laughs> exactly. Because this is not real. I right. know this is not real. Um, or supposedly real, right? It's a story. Right, it's, Somebody's it's telling a story. Representative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, but that sequence, obviously, when that guy came in and you know, the con, the the presume, terrorist two guy, presumed terrorist. Yeah. I didn't know one if we were supposed to know who that person was. Right. So if that was a real reference, once again, went over my head. Me too. I just I was like, okay, it's a terrorist, and I know that actors in Bollywood throughout um, its history have performed for rich people and gone to parties to dance and, and, and party. perform for people who are yes. supposed terrorists. Yes, and the, also the the tie-in of the mafia. Yes, was in there. I know all that, and so I got all the references. Right, but like the fact that like. It was it was like incredibly almost meta. Like that whole sequence happened. You don't know what's going on. Then he goes into a party, and then he knows the dance already. And he's like, it's just right. incredibly meta. That got really meta at that point uh, of the film. And then he started talking to Jaideep, asking Jaideep if he's the audience. I'm like, is this just going on in his mind? Like, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing with Jaideep. If if Jaideep is representative of the audience, right? Who is trolling and saying we hate this and has every opportunity to kill it. He doesn't. But never does. Yeah. He's constantly, even when he's shooting it at point blank range at the party, I think that's one of the funny moments. I bet the audience is when he shoots and then the next shot you see them sitting side by side. I bet audiences roar yeah. over the fact that no matter what happens, he's going to complain. He's going to say, I'm going to kill you. He's going to say, I hate you. But he's still going to let him be. Yeah. And... <laughs> this review was very strange to me because very very like strange. I'm not going through like the different because I don't even know if I uh, Jaideep and Ashw uh, Ayushman did a good job obviously Jaideep he has such a screen presence I love Jaideep right um, but like it feels like a film that I can't even break down like that because I'm just having to break down what the film is as and a it whole. took it took a while to unveil itself to me in terms of. I really, at fir at the front half of it, which I think was intentional, yeah. felt like we're watching an action film. And, a, and not a good one, like because it's like a bunch of unbelievable... It was unbelievable stuff, and it also, pacing-wise, was boring me. Yeah. I was just sitting there waiting to find out, why should I care about this? Why didn't Jadeep just shoot you I, in the face? Yeah, why didn't he kill you? Is this just poorly written? And then when I realized, like when you leaned over me and said, what the hell is going on? Is this meta? I, I was like, I was in the same place thinking, something's going on. There's going to be something representative. Yeah. And and because of that, and because I think so much was lost, yeah. I was bored in a lot of, yeah. the, in a lot of the film. I, I get that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it was more like, I almost felt like you at times, because you always harp on films for doing something that strains credulity right and there was like so, so much, much right it, i knew it was, I was like god i feel like rick god no, no, damn no, yeah. it. <laughs> but I, I knew this was absolutely intentional yeah, yeah. yeah. uh but like that's how i felt and i was like i don't want to feel like rick god damn it uh, but obviously like it's i'd be so interested to actually talk to a, a, an indian who who got to who is from India and has, it, it lives with all this media and lives with uh, all these references yeah. and real stories that is probably being portrayed on screen that, that they're seeing every day, day yeah. in their life. And so like to hear their take on it and what all these things meant and I think it's a very smart film. It's very smart. Um, really, really intelligent. And very so, subversive. Yeah, so I, I, I do enjoy that. It's about better. It. I, I don't know if it's meant for non-indians i agree i don't think you can we can't get yeah it. we've been in it for four years yeah we can't fully uh, get it not to say that like it's a bad film at all because i think it, it it did what it's supposed to right but in terms of i think to really get this film you've need to have been an indian immersed in the media immersed in the yes. culture immersed in all these references yes for your entire agree. life agree uh to really fully appreciate this film uh, that i think i think that's why I was bored through a huge portion of the first half was mm -hmm. because I don't get that stuff. Yeah. I will say, because I think we understand where he was coming from yeah. to make this and his intention, um, a film that I did not like that is also supposed to be a subversive parody representative thing was Don't Look Up. Okay, yeah. This is way smarter than Don't Look Up. <laughs> don't Look Up was... I, I just didn't understand why it had to be so dumb. 
and to, if, which is saying a lot considering I still it's seen that film. I still never saw. Yeah, it. it just there's a lot of people who liked it, and there's a lot of people I've talked to who felt like I did, which was you you, you had a great opportunity to say something, and you made it just a big. This was intelligently doing the proverbial reporter at the Trump rally, mm -hmm. where, as I felt like Don't Look Up was just mocking everyone who doesn't believe the way the creators of Don't Look Up believe. Mm. Okay. Even though they're right, because it's about climate change. Yeah. Even though they're right, it was very uh, just, if you don't see it the way we do, then you are worthy of being mocked and made fun of in a way that really wasn't intelligent whereas this was really yeah. really smart and i bet if we knew even more of it culturally we would think it was even smarter and dialogue wise yeah exactly if we spoke hindi um i think we would have gotten a lot more references and also i heard somebody say like there were song references right when something funny was going on that the song made even more funny i'm Obviously, i'm sure i didn't catch that certain stuff yep and so that's why i'm that's why i said what i said in the beginning i was like i don't know if we're qualified to fully review this film even though i thought the the background score was um good and also i think it did what it was it, it was, did what it was, it was supposed playing to do. off of the big action like Absolutely. every time jaideep entered wow. it was almost it was actually almost adam's family-esque the it was his theme his theme and anytime somebody dropped a truth bomb there was that it was very KGF. Very KGF, <laughs> and there were moments that were very Mission Impossible. Yeah. It really was kind of an homage in many respects, probably far more than we know, yeah. to action film soundtracks. Yeah. Um, and it's, even though it's, it's not... It's the smartest movie that ever bored me. <laughs> Without question. It's the smartest movie, that, the ever smartest movie <laughs> that ever bored me. That's but funny. it's my fault that it bores me, because I think I'm just ignorant yeah it's it's i think i think that's it um, yeah <laughs> because obviously if i was looking at this film just from how it was in the first half of just like nothing was believable the action was like how the fuck does this guy know how to do all this and, and like, i didn't care and and later in the film the guy was like you, you, you can't even punch me you can't even break through a window you, you're you action film my foot action right. hero my foot so obviously there was a bunch of this stuff and then he could do it again and he couldn't do it again right it's like there's so much meta going on meta references that um i think if if i got it more more of the humor in this because i this film if if you're laughing throughout i think that makes it a lot better oh, of course um and like i said i did laugh some but I would never call this a laugh out loud film. It's probably what people but thought. We didn't get. I I references. bet it would be comparable to somebody not from America watching Blazing Saddles. Oh yeah. And thinking. Except a lot more offensive that one. Yeah, yeah, and thinking, I don't get it. This is kind of offensive. Whereas we would be dying and laughing, getting all of the references. Yeah, that it, and it makes fun of Hollywood as well in that. Oh, thing. that film is uh, meta. Yeah, because I just rewatched that. Yeah, um, I, I think I also saw Gene Wilder but, say it's probably the most important mil film he's yes, ever done because but, it was talking about racism. It was and putting it on itself. Yes, uh, but even like the sequence, the sequence of them sitting around the campfire eating beans and farting, <laughs> so everybody can laugh about that because they know that you know that, but not. Not everybody would understand that the quintessential Western trope among many is everybody sitting around the campfire having their food. And he took it to the extreme of, well, if they're all eating beans, why aren't they going to have <laughs> farting like crazy? Um, yeah. So, right? I, yeah, I think... Like so, I think it's comparable, whereas you, you, you can fully appreciate Blazing Saddles as genius when you understand American culture at the time. And no, Same thing with this. After seeing this film now and seeing the full film and what it's about, it's very Ayushman. Oh, my stars, yes. It's 100% the kind uh, of film that... The fact, Ayush, that, it the fact has, that he's starring in it should tell you a lot. Yeah, it has a big message. And not as it says a lot that Akshay drops in there too. <laughs> I love the fact that Akshay. I love the line. I did love that line when yeah. he says, Wait, "What do you think I should do?" Like, Don't say you ever met me. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great moment. Yeah, I love that he was. Uh, I love that he was animated as a uh, cameo and all that. <laughs> um, so you guys can let us know what you thought about this film, and if there's more that 
Um, you can explain, explain to us. Explain it to us, please. Yeah, show us um, what we missed. Uh, and all that kind of stuff. And I hope you I hope you did enjoy it. Because that's actually the predominance that I've heard of this film. People loved this film that actually went and watched it. It's not yeah. doing great at the box office. But I know the people that actually watched it and that I trust loved this film. Uh, and so obviously I think if you're a Hindi speaker or you can speak Hindi and you've been in the culture, I think you'll be able to get this film probably quite easily and get all the references probably uh, if you if you're big into bollywood and and, and you've it's been too bad andrani didn't see it with us because she might have got she got probably would have picked up on a lot more yeah absolutely yeah um so you guys can let us know what you thought about the film uh and what should be the next film we watch down below